there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I am coming to you on day seven. Well, I'm calling it day seven. They're calling it day eight. They're gonna call tomorrow day nine, which I consider day seven the last day. This is a seven day escape. And today, honestly, 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 this is uh, day seven and it's a transit day. We're just transiting back from Krakow over to, um, oh God. I know. Uh, we, we were in Krakow, and we're going to the capital of Poland. Um, I'm forgetting the name. Let me let me ask someone. My brain's a little slow today. Where are we heading? Warsaw. Warsaw. Sorry, I, I missed that word. Uh, yeah. So uh, we're, we are heading from uh, Krakow to Warsaw. It is a uh, four-hour bus day. Unfortunately, there's a giant phallic symbol behind me. I don't know why, but there's just it's like. No, I shouldn't do that. Uh, but there's a giant phallic symbol behind me. I'm keeping that in the video. Um, and yeah, we didn't stop at a KFC or a Burger King or a McDonald's or anywhere like that. We just stopped at a random gas station. Uh, and this is a potty break. That's what this is. Uh, we are headed back to Warsaw to our hotel. Uh, I had a really weird two days in Krakow, which will be covered in videos that are not this video. Um, but um, we're headed back to Warsaw. Tomorrow, uh, we're gonna be taking an early morning trip to the airport, early morning, like three or four in the morning, not even worth going to sleep. So we'll do some fun stuff tonight. I think we have a little tour because Globus wants to include something every day, but I really think this is kind of a waste of a day. I did get um, something. I got a cherry Coke and a uh, hot strips. So I got a cherry Coke. I got some hot strips, which looks to be uh, chicken fingers with hot sauce on uh, that. I will tell you our breakfast has gotten progressively worse. Uh, the last few days, breakfast has been unedible. Compared to the first day when breakfast was amazing, the second day when breakfast was amazing, the third day when breakfast was okay. I can't do breakfast in these hotels. It's, it's gone to total dog crap. And unfortunately in Warsaw, uh, my flight's so early in the morning, like three. Um, my, my flight's at 6.30 in the morning, but I gotta be at the airport, you know, three hours before or so. Um, so I'm getting a breakfast box. Uh, that's actually gonna be the last thing I will leave you with in this video. But um, if anything eventful happens today, I'll let you know. Yesterday was great, the day before was great, the day before was great. Um, the, the middle of this trip is amazing. I think the beginning and the end uh, need a little bit of work uh, just because there's so, so much good in the middle, but I guess that's how life is. You have a beginning, you have an ending, and there's so much good in the middle. So. I'm jumping back on the bus. Uh, we're gonna get to the hotel about 1.30 or so, they said. Uh, and then I think we have a tour in the afternoon, which I'll take you along in. Say goodbye. So, you know, I was right. It is uh, 1.37 p.m. and we're kind of back where we started. Back in the hotel where we had dinner the first night. Back in the hotel where we had breakfast the first day. There is, the, it's, it's described on, you know, let's, let's, uh, let's pull this up real quick. It's described on the Globus app. I got screenshots of this too. Uh, day eight, well, wants me to connect to the Wi-Fi. You know, my favorite joke is, uh, how do you know you've been someplace before? Your phone auto connects to the Wi-Fi. Um, day eight, Dudo du Winzela Warsaw. Warsaw farewell dinner at your hotel. Uh, we went 330 kilometers, uh, highlight photo op. Admire the vistas between these two gems in the heart of Poland. There'll be plenty of chances for the perfect photo opportunity. There is no tour today, which, uh, which, Changes some variables a little bit. Uh, you know, we, we talked about this. I'm addressing today as day seven. Globus advertises this as a nine day tour. The first day, you have dinner. The second day, we gotta get moving at three o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Uh, so we're just getting a breakfast box at three o'clock in the morning because I, I wanna get back home Sunday night, not Monday morning. Uh, I got stuff to do next week. Uh, but the first day is dinner. The last day is a breakfast box, generally. You can have a full breakfast if your flight's like a day or so away. Um, and today is just a travel day. So, I mean, realistically, actively doing things, there's only six days of actively doing things. This is a really short video um, because, yeah, I go out and explore Warsaw. I, I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna close this video out tomorrow. I'm gonna close it out tomorrow with our breakfast box. But I mean, this is not a nine day tour. 
not an eight day tour, not a seven day tour. This is a six day tour. You're being lied to for one third of the tour. I think that, this, and I've got a travel agent here yeah. and she is nodding at me. Yes, I and agree. here's the difference. Completely. But those three days in the middle were amazing. The, uh, the Black Madonna, the Holocaust, the, the Auschwitz, right. and the salt mines are amazing. Right. But the problem is the beginning of this tour is kind of meh, and the end of this tour is kind of meh. Uh, would you agree? Or our are you... tour guide is worse than meh. Our, our tour guide I will tell you, well, I'll get into that in a minute, but I will tell you who's good. I like our bus driver. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love her. I lo He's got my same name. He's the, I don't know, do you travel a lot? Again, you're not on camera. You travel a lot, right? Yes. Um, I've never had a better foreign bus driver than Richard. Uh, here. Uh, yeah. Like foreign bus driver. Right. Like I'm not talking him. Like it, I was talking to him on the bus. He learned English by doing this. Right. He never traditionally knew English. He learned English by driving the bus. And we could ask him questions. Oh, I agree. So yeah, yeah. I, I hate I hate to say it. Yeah. She's totally right. Yeah. And your travel agent. Yeah. yeah. She's totally right. Our bus driver was better than our tour guide. I'll see you later. Whatever, whatever we're gonna do in downtown. Uh, Warsaw, because we're kind of on our own now until dinner, and then we just get a box tomorrow for breakfast yeah, not, on this six-day, six-day kind of tour. All right, so it is three o'clock in the morning. Uh, this is the day I fly back. I've got a flight at six thirty in the morning, just due to scheduling. Ooh, hold on, we're in the dark. It's okay. I have a flashlight. We can make it less dark. Uh, and I want to kind of wrap up now after dinner. Well, I didn't bring you dinner last night because I didn't bring this phone to dinner. Dinner last night in the hotel, which was included, was our farewell dinner. It was pretty meh, again. Uh, honestly, there was one impressive, this, that seems to be a, a thing with Globus. Uh, there was one impressive included meal that was a dinner. I don't really count breakfast as impressive or not impressive, but this NYX hotel is impressive. I'm finally uh, rotated to the back of the bus, although I'm one of uh, like six people on the bus. Dinner was a soup, uh, some really dry chicken, uh, only one of the so we had a soup, pretty standard. Some really dry chicken, there was like three slices of it and only one slice had some mushrooms on it. And then a reasonable apple pie. I wouldn't say great, I wouldn't say terrible. It really wasn't an apple pie, it was caramelized apple and some stuff like that. Now, there's not enough for me to make a whole separate nightlife video on, um, but I went back out to Food Town, which I did earlier in the week. I went and bought some cherry vodka to take home and I did that all on my own. Um, I will say, as weird as it sounds, and we talked about this uh, after the last clip, not this clip, the one before it, there were a whole bunch of people that heard me make that. Uh, and they said, you know, your, your math's wrong. And I said, what are you talking about? I said there's three very good days to this tour. Like three exceptional days to this tour. And it's really a six day tour when you back it out. Uh, today, well, yesterday, uh, I'm not even making a separate video for the day we leave, which they count as a day, uh, was just a transit day. We didn't stop, we didn't take a photo, we didn't do anything. So, I mean, if, if we really want to look at it, the first day, they, again, they call this nine days. I'm going to do Globus's interpretation of it right now. Uh, hold on. I, I actually need the Globus app just because I don't remember the order of everything. So, uh, day one, we got here. Woohoo! Had a dinner at this same hotel. Um, tasted like chicken nuggets. Uh, day two, Warsaw. We saw the old city. We saw how they tore it down, saw how they rebuilt it, saw everything like that. That's pretty cool. We went to the Chinese embassy and saw that they're not taking credit for uh, the Wuhan flu, but they do think that they have control over Taiwan. Ta-da! Uh, <laughs> that was day two. Uh, and uh, we had a uh, dinner that night that was an optional dinner that was terrible. Uh, and during that afternoon, we went to the palace, which was really cool. It's the closest thing, I think, to the Hermitage that you could still exist and uh, that you could still visit in St. Petersburg, Russia. Then we went to Poznan, Poznan, which is where the goats were. Well, they lied to us about the goats. Uh, I don't know if I told you this in the Poznan video. Um, when I was at somewhere else, which uh, I went to Poznan night, check out that. Uh, again, that's uh, they're calling that day number three. When I was at someplace else, uh, they told me they saw the goats. And some people on the door said they saw the goats at three o'clock. But we were told by both our tour guide, I think it wasn't really our tour guide, it was the woman who was guiding us in Poznan, that the goats were under refurbishment. So I had to, for you, pull a video from YouTube and I saw the goats the same way when I could have seen them at three o'clock if I would have known better. Cool. Those are the day, my alarm's going off. Let me make sure that doesn't happen again. Those are the, um, the days that are kind of meh. Then after that, 
there's some interesting days that uh wait yeah that start uh actually no yeah there's some interesting days that start um we went to war claw that actually was not that interesting of a day uh but where the interesting days really started was on day uh day five actually yeah day day four day five and day six and day seven technically but uh day four let me just double check uh their day four we just went to the market square in Warclaw. um yeah nothing crazy it's it started getting kind of good uh that's where we saw if you remember that's where we saw the guy light the um the lanterns we kind of harassed him, stalked him. It was low season. This is actually the last tour of the year for Globus here. They're going to start it up again in spring, in March or so. But, um, yeah, we saw the guy light the lanterns. Um, and we searched for some gnomes. And we saw a bridge that locks got cut off of and everything like that. But where the days really started to get good was the day after. That place that we went to, that... Uh, monastery uh no that was not yeah it was a monastery there were monks there i tried to bum some beer off of them that monastery was really really impressive i uh, like vatican levels of impressive uh that's probably my second favorite uh religious site that i've ever been to that that monastery was really 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 cool um and you followed along um, and then we do that night. Oh, then we had a, I think, uh, yeah, we had a meal at the hotel that was kind of meh. I'll tell you, the best meal of the night actually came on Poznan Day, I think. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Dinner with regional specialties. That was an included dinner. It was pretty damn good. Uh, yeah, uh, that was Poznan Day, uh, which was day three. Let's see, day four. So, yeah, we got to see the, um, I remember the rest of this myself. We got to see the church, um, yeah, the church specifically we saw like the cardinals uh, and we were there at the right time where they were singing and dancing and doing all the things cardinals do I don't know um, I'm not a religious guy uh, but we saw all the museum we saw the where the Pope was shot we saw the uh, the, the gown he was wearing when he was shot uh, we even saw the Pope with the mosquito repellent around him that was a good day Auschwitz even though it was a bad day Auschwitz was a good day Auschwitz and Bergen was a very 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 good day even though you know it wasn't a great day and that, that was the night that um unrelated to globus i actually wound up getting scammed in town so you know if you're not a savvy traveler there'll be a whole, whole series of videos on this scam because i have so much on it if you're not a savvy traveler don't leave the group um uh, sorry to say um you know don't leave the group and go do activities on your own but i did something i didn't get scammed too bad like 65 bucks but it could have been far worse uh I'll have completely separate videos on that. And, you know, here's where, here's where we got into an argument after I stopped filming last night and people were listening. I said there were three good days. There's really two and a half good days. And half of that day is, half, that, that half day is not included. Uh, I am counting the, uh, the church with the uh, Black Madonna as one really good day. I mean, it was impressive. Everything there was cool. Uh, there was no admission fee or anything like that, and it, it worked in our benefit. Uh, I am counting as the second good day. I am counting Auschwitz. These were in a row. And the third good half day, I'm counting the salt mines uh, right outside of Krakow. Now, that is an optional excursion that was like 75 euros. It was worth every penny. For 79 euros, that, that, I have no arguments to that. As well as the palace was worth every penny. That upcharged dinner probably you could skip it and go do something yourself um you know realistically um then after that i everyone else went back to the hotel uh and i went out and went to energylandia that's on me uh that's not on globus so i showed it to you because i think that's an interesting way to fill an afternoon it is rough i had to uber to there but you know if you can get four people together and you got to you know, 12 50 a person to get over there then you take the train back for two dollars and 85 cents hey you're doing good um and then the last day day seven the video you're watching now it is exactly as it sounds well they're gonna call this day eight and day nine day eight and day nine are a total waste so is day one so you subtract that out that gives you six days it's a six day trip out of those six days two and a half were good now those two and a half were so good that they made me want to come back here but I did also do activities on my own, and you've got to kind of be willing to do that and do those activities on your own. I will be coming back to Poland. I'm happy that I did it for the first time with an organized group, because it kind of gave me some guidance into where to go and stuff like that, and 
yeah, like I said, I, I did get scammed a little bit, but that's got nothing to do with Globus, nothing to do with the group. Uh, I'm very happy. I would not do it again. And now, I'm not saying I wouldn't come to Poland again. I'm already making those plans for, um, I think I'm looking at uh, December 2024, so like 14 months from now. And I'm going to stay for longer because, um, well, I don't want to really say this. Um, Hitler located the uh, concentration camps correctly because it's in the middle of Europe and you get everywhere in less than a day from here in all of Europe and it's all visa free and everything like that fantastic but I want to bring to a close this whatever we can call it a nine day we can call it a seven day we can call it a six day we can call it a five day we can call it a two and a half good day tour but it is a great exposure to Poland this is Richard from No Pants Profits literally coming to you on the bus on the way to the airport, uh, and I'm going to make a top 10 list of the 10 best things and the 10 worst things at the airport in po about Poland, and you'll see that after, uh, reminding you, by ghost light, ooh, uh, check out Globus, check out the Escapes by Globus Polish Escape, and uh, reminding you that when you wear no pants, like me, there's only one thing you got left to lose, and that's your shirt. Have a great one.